It is the first comprehensive study to focus solely on injuries during weight training. Over an 18-year period from 1990 to 2007, researchers plotted injuries from dropped weights to pinched fingers and found that as this form of exercise grows, so do trips to the hospital. We found that nearly one million people, over 970,000 people, sustained weight training-related injuries during that time period. Don Comstock is the researcher at Nationwide Children's Hospital who led the study. She says the number of those who are getting hurt may not be as surprising as the types of people who are getting hurt. Comstock, who is also with Ohio State University, found that injuries among teenage girls, for example, shot up a staggering 143 percent. And their increase was much higher than the increase among males. So although weight training traditionally has been an activity of young males, our data now shows that more females are participating. Let's pump some iron here. Come on. That's not surprising to Marianne Grimes. She's coached for 34 years and says in the last 20, she's seen a surge in girls committed to weight training, a change she has encouraged when done safely and with proper supervision. You know, there is you know, really not a successful program in high school or college that doesn't have a top-notch weightlifting program. If your daughter or son is lifting, experts recommend keeping these tips in mind. First, never lift alone. It's best to have a coach or a trainer nearby at all times. Always use a spotter and be sure to start slowly and build up to heavier weights. Most injuries happen, experts say, not because kids are lifting too much, but because they're supervised too little. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.